What type of business organization will best serve your architecture practice? This is a question every architect must understand as they prepare for Division 1, practice management of their architecture registration exams. The world of business can be a labyrinth, especially when you're trying to navigate the different types of business organizations. But why is understanding this so important? Well, it's simple. The type of business organization you choose directly impacts how your architecture practice operates, how it's taxed, and even how it's perceived by clients and competitors. In this video, we're going to delve into the nitty-gritty of five key types of business organizations. We'll explore sole proprietorships, partnerships both general and limited, corporations including C-corporations, S-corporations, and professional corporations, limited liability companies, and last but not least, joint ventures. We'll also demystify some key terms like teaming agreement and memorandum of understanding. By the end of this video you'll have a clearer picture of each business organization and be better prepared for your ARE exams. Starting with the simplest form of business organization, the sole proprietorship. This is a one-man show where the architect is the sole owner and operator, enjoying all the profits but also shouldering all the risks. The upside? You call the shots, and the earnings are yours alone. The downside? You alone bear the personal liability, which can extend to your personal assets. Transitioning now to partnerships, they come in two flavors, general and limited. In a general partnership, all partners share equally in both responsibility and liability. On the other hand, a limited partnership involves at least one general partner who is fully liable, and one or more limited partners, whose liability is limited to their contribution in the venture. Remember, both sole proprietorships and partnerships offer simplicity and direct control. However, they also expose the owners to a high level of personal liability. Sole proprietorships and partnerships may be simple but they require a high level of personal responsibility and liability. Moving on to more complex structures, let's delve into the world of corporations. Corporations are separate legal entities that provide owners with personal liability protection. There are three types, C corporations, S corporations, and professional corporations. C corporations are taxed separately from their owners, while S corporations avoid this double taxation as the income flows directly to the personal income of the shareholders. However, S corporations do have stricter regulations. Professional corporations are designed specifically for professionals such as architects and provide liability protection with some exceptions. Now on to limited liability companies or LLCs. They combine the flexibility of a partnership with the liability protection of corporations. Owners of an LLC are not personally responsible for company debts and liabilities, providing a safety net for personal assets. Remember, while these structures provide increased protection they also come with increased regulations. So, it's essential to weigh up the benefits against the potential drawbacks. Corporations and limited liability companies offer more protection but come with more regulations. Finally, let's explore joint ventures, where collaboration is key. Joint ventures occur when two or more entities, often companies, band together to undertake a business project. They share not only the responsibilities and costs, but also the resulting profits. Two key terms associated with joint ventures are teaming agreement and memorandum of understanding. A teaming agreement outlines the roles and responsibilities of each entity, while a memorandum of understanding is a formal agreement indicating a mutual intent to collaborate. Now let's pivot to the standard of care. This term is integral to the architectural profession. It refers to the legal obligation for architects to perform their services with the same degree of skill and diligence as other architects in similar situations. An architect's failure to meet this standard could potentially lead to professional liability. Joint ventures offer opportunities for collaboration, while understanding the standard of care ensures you maintain your professional responsibilities. Remember, each business organization has its strengths and weaknesses. While you need to know the basics of these organizations for your exams, in reality, it is usually best to reference your attorney and accountant about which is best for your practice. 